Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> Today is going to be a bit different than all of my other videos. <laughs> I am going to draw my Camp NaNoWriMo character, Lorne. I uh, drew it the other day and then I narrated over the sped up version of me drawing. So you don't have to watch me draw for 45 minutes. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, it should be fun and interesting. I'm not the best artist, but I can at least... I'm at least better than I was. 15 years ago, Anthony was dry noodle arms. We've come a long way. <laughs> so, yes, let's begin. <laughs> so when I started this drawing, I haven't been drawing in a long, in a long time for, you know, quite a while. <laughs> so I'm rather rusty as I'm trying to figure out, you know, the simple fundamentals of drawing a head. <laughs> I, you know, I have not drawn really much since Inktober. <laughs> in the first draft of this story, there's 35,000 words, and in those 35,000 words, I don't really have a physical description of the main character whose name is Lorne. I have one small description that says that he has light brown hair, but I don't even know his eye color, what, you know, he wears, just there is nothing in there. There is a physical description of the adult character in the story, but yeah, that's about it. And so I kind of wanted to work on a look for Lauren. Now, Lauren is an abused teenager, and so he doesn't have much, you know, things to smile about. So most of my drawings of him are not smiling. I wanted to go with this kind of flat hair sort of. I didn't want to give him anything crazy with the hair. Um, no anime crazy hair hair. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of wanted to go for a slightly longer haired look. He doesn't get haircuts very often and a little bit uneven. For my next drawing, um, I got more confident in my drawing because um, I did it all in one, I did all of this in one session. And so I was able to <laughs> remember how to draw. It takes me a while to figure out the shape of heads and try to figure out the shape of the side of the head and the chin and cheekbones and all that good stuff. And then the head, the, the skull then gets too big and yeah, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Like I said, most of the drawings that I have of him are neutral expressions or kind of sad expressions. I struggled trying to figure out how I wanted the uh, eyebrows to be. And then remembered, oh wait, it's the other way around when I want them to be sad. <laughs> I, doing both eyes has always been a struggle for me, but I think most artists feel that, where they're like, I drew a perfect eye, you want me to do it again now? <laughs> so, yeah. Lots of struggling with the eyes. 
then once I finally figured out what I wanted, it, it came a lot better. Yeah, I need to get back into drawing more and, and drawing more of my characters. I've only really drawn um, characters from my book, Beyond the Learning Sky. I've drawn the main two, the two main characters quite often, especially the male character, uh, Kay. He has a very distinct uh, look, and so I can draw him often, and they all tend to... Even if my style changes, they all tend to look like K. <laughs> it always looks like him. But when you have a gener more generic design in your character, it's sometimes hard to kind of get a look when, you know, you're not using colors. You don't know their skin color. You don't know their hair color or even their eye color. Um, so just doing a pencil sketch is... It's difficult to get that character feel when you're not the perfect artist. I am definitely not that good. I have not... I have not practiced as, as enough as I would like. But this is probably my favorite out of the three sketches that I do. I really like this one, and it kind of gives the feel of... Uh, what I want from Lauren a lot of the times. He's kind of a subdued character in the beginning of the book, and then he gets a little bit more uh, strong by the end. sketch I wanted to uh, do something from a totally different uh, point of view a little bit more challenging I don't always draw from the side view very well but since this was my third sketch I kind of felt like I did a pretty good job by the end Always have trouble with the chin and jaw jawline. <laughs> I don't know what clothes I want for him. That's the one thing I have not figured out, and that's why all of my sketches don't have the top of some clothes. I could definitely show a basic shirt or tunic, but you know, eh, who wants to do that? <laughs> didn't want to do the eye open here so I struggled a few times trying to remember how to draw a closed eye. A lot of all of these had um, references but I didn't copy them to the exact didn't copy them exactly. I was trying to get you know the position of eyes and just the look of the position of the head because my memory cannot remember those types of things very well so I have to use references quite often to remember those things. Yeah, so, you know, the design for his hair is just kind of this straight uneven at places because you know he doesn't often get a haircut I didn't want to make him, give him completely unruly hair but yeah I noticed on my other drawing I did not add the details to the ear <laughs> and I was like eh who cares <laughs> Who needs to add details for the air? <laughs> that 
that was that. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> so yeah, 35,000 words, no description of Lauren. Why, Anthe? Why? So it was kind of hard to figure out what I wanted, but yeah, it was a fun experience to draw him. I uh, will probably try to do some more another time. I would love to draw the adult character. His name is Faust. I would love to get him done. He's a bit more creative. Should be, he's, he's a bit more interesting and he's always angry. So, you know, great combination. <laughs> so let me know if you liked this video. That would be great. If you want to see something more like this, I can always draw other characters of my stories as well. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe out there. Don't get sick. Be smart. And until next time, bye. <laughs>